tight and it's Rob from Laugh Burger. And I'm at Dream Cloak's lap. Not that you can tell much from my impromptu intense studio here, but I just want to catch up a little bit on what happened last night. Uh, so last night, Friday, got to the got to the event and packed. Surprised a few people that I was here because even though I'd been sort of chatting over a fairly long period of time that I'd be here and I had a few messages back and forth on chat. Uh, like, oh, actually, you're here. Wonderful. Which, uh, I'll admit, it's been a long time since I was here last, uh, which is a great shame. I've always found the journey a little hard. Although the new near Croydon location doesn't make that easier. So let's hope we can do more with that uh, in the future. Um, trying to give you a little bit of flavour of the place. It's Fairland Scout Camp, uh, which is near, which is near Croydon. It's been really well set up. We've got an easy access to the car park, out of character car parking, and not too hard to access main character camp. Well done to the main character camp. Yeah, you know, one day through it last night, it kind of did feel like a like a like a, like, like a Tempe military encampment. So that absolutely on message for the game and that worked out really 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 well and i was also really impressed by the use of red light everywhere um people have really taken home the idea that uh, you need to see where you're going and red light doesn't destroy night vision and in this game red light is everywhere so wow um that's more than last time i was here a few years ago and it's really really good to see uh, that you, i mean it's not going to suit every game i mean High fantasy game with use of red lamps not so easy but here in a military style in a military style lap it absolutely fits the bill and looks great okay and again the costume last night everybody was looking absolutely absolutely good and i'm hoping when the daylight photos start coming out you'll see that in, in really good detail last night's photos we're going more for atmosphere, mood, and theme, just to making sure that you know, we've captured some of the feeling of the game. But today, uh, I'm going to sort of watch the game, try to do a few more reports, and I'm going to try to do a few reports uh, outside, uh, just to give you some idea of the feel of the place too. Uh, fingers crossed that comes off okay, mm -hmm. and if that is weather allowing. Weather's been going from it's sunny, it's raining, it's Bloody, it's raining. Yeah, I hope you get the theme that whatever happens, it always rains. But fingers crossed, weather forecast for the rest of the weekend isn't too bad, so let's hope we, we have at it. Okay, so I think that's all really for now. I mean, it's been really good to get back here. Uh, the camps are looking good, the costumes are looking good. There were some really good heated discussions last night, but heated as an argumentative way, but heated in a way of really wanting to get out and achieve something uh, by getting out on missions. So there's a real hunger for getting things done. Uh, one thing I must go, must say before I go, I did have a conversation with somebody in a full mask and a ghillie suit. It was only a brief chat, but it was just like, like two chaps just meeting on a path. One's wearing a military jacket and the other one's wearing a ghillie suit and his own master, but it's just a normal chat. It's great. Okay, oh, the other thing, the game involves what from some people's perspective is magic and from others, oh, quantum physics taken to the way, way out there level. Um, some of the conversations like sort of ah, happened on trying to rationalize the two scientific, scientific versus the uh, more magical viewpoint were really nice. And it's nice to see that we can have that coexistence going on and people can be debating it in a game. Okay, so that's it for now. I'll be catching up later on and tell you more about uh, how, how, this, how everything's going. Okay, bye for now.